ba hey guys this is brian thanks for tuning in today we have a hunt uh takes place behind my house uh last year um before we start i just want to show you a couple things hunting season's getting ready to start and uh I was at the Walmart today and I picked up a couple things. We have a, a mossy oak hat <clears throat> and uh, I don't know, it's, it's kind of like a, almost like the ghillie suit type hat. It's real fuzzy. Um, I think it's going to be warm. It's reversible if you don't like that kind. But I thought it was pretty cool. Yeah. The second thing I got, last year I, I used uh, I had this plythol camo gloves. Um, they're real thin, just like this, and they lasted me well into the season. Of course, they're thin; they're gonna wear out. But <clears throat> so I had to get another pair. But I, I found these uh, at Walmart, also real tree, this extra thin early season gloves, and uh, man, they they fit like you you can function like you would with bare hands, shooting your bow binoculars, camera, rangefinder, it's got they've got little fingertips for your cell phone. Um, the 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 palms have uh, like rubber on them so uh, you can grip things. Anyway, just want to show you guys that this is uh, two things that I just picked up and I'm excited about. We got like one week left, <clears throat> one and a half, two weeks left before deer hunting season. So all right. Back to the hunt, um, back to the hunt, which is the reason you clicked on this video. Um, it's behind my house last year. Hadn't hunted the property much at all yet. I knew one thing, if you ever have a new property, if you have a creek or a river flowing through it, walk the whole creek and river and find those deer crossings, find those shallow spots. That's a great spot to start. Um, so we've got here, I hung a trail camera up on the best river crossing I could find and this river crossing is really amazing because there's about a hundred yards of river that uh, is only a few inches deep here versus the rest of the river is four foot deep so um, <clears throat> just, just a great spot where the deer like to come hang out and cross and the trail cameras was definitely the number one tool that I uh, contribute the success of this hunt to and in general a lot of my hunts to trail cameras. If you guys don't use trail cameras uh, definitely you need to. Uh, think how much time and money you already spend on deer season. I mean if it's your first camera you can go pick up a $50 camera from wherever. So I'm on a creek crossing. I know there's a good chance that the deer are going to be there because they're regularly every, almost every evening getting pictures of them on my trail camera. And to top it off, when I was going to check my trail camera a few days ago, on my way in I saw a little doe down in the river on the creek bank and I stopped to watch her for a while and when I did that I could hear acorns dropping in the woods behind her. Now, like I said, this is a new property to me. I haven't got a chance to get out and, uh, you know, glass the treetops looking for which trees, which oak trees are going to be dropping acorns. So, I've got three things going for me on this hunt here. We've got fresh acorns falling right across the river. We've got the river crossing, which there's not a whole lot of them on this river. And I've got a trail camera saying the deer are actually crossing here almost every day. So... Stay tuned. I think you're going to enjoy this hunt. We've got a problem with our range finder. We've got a broken wire, which explains my issues I was having this morning with it. We don't have time for this. We need to be in the woods. We need to strip that wire. Now getting it to fit in there to work. <laughs> set up behind my house. We are we're in Coles County trying to get my first Coles County deer. Got a 
river crossing and just the river is really shallow right now and the deer have been walking up and down it on these two on this maybe a 70 maybe about a hundred yard section of the river just walking up and down it uh, at one end there's a bunch of oak trees dropping acorns and that's about a 50, 50 to 60 yard, anywhere from a 40 to 60 yard shot from this tree. Then we have straight in front of us out on the river and that's about a 30 to 35 yard shot. And then over to the really, really beat down river crossing where my camera is, uh, we're about uh, 40 yards. So I picked this tree because I don't really know how the deer move back here yet. I've never hunted back here in this area. It's warming up right now, but you never know. I've got lots of does um, pretty consistently every evening using this crossing on my camera. So we're gonna come back here and try to get my first Coles County deer. I've got a, a landowner permit property only hunting for free that I got from the DNR. I got two of them for archery. So we're getting set up. Like I said, we're getting jacked up way in the air. Definitely need my compound and my rangefinder, And we'll be able to see a, a good portion of my property from here and give me an idea what they're doing in the evenings. So my Josh Holt cameraman's climbing up the tree right now. And uh, as soon as he gets up there, I'm gonna go ahead and start climbing up. But it's real thick in here. Probably when we get up in the tree, it's not gonna look as thick, so. I'm just starting to realize after what's going on here that my new property may be an awesome deer hunting spot.
บาทa whole lot yet. My plan at this point was to only kill one doe. However, <laughs> there's always a however. As I'm sitting up there and I'm watching more deer come out, more deer, some of the deer we didn't get on film, um, I'm coming up with all these excuses, uh, I mean reasons, in my head why I, what's okay and why I need to shoot this deer. Doe I shot. Hit her, uh, hit her in the shoulder blade with the toxic. Must have flopped around for a while. All right, guys, it's October 17th. This is uh, doe number four. Whew. Got this on my own property, my new house. This is my first Coles County deer. She's she's a really big doe. Of course, she probably looks like a giant just because I, the last two I shot were small. <laughs> well, I've been seeing them. I got my trail camera out, and basically, I just patterned them on the trail camera. I knew, and consistently every evening, they were uh, crossing at this river crossing here. I told Josh it's real shallow, and uh, they like walking up. Looks like they're walking up and down the river. And my whole woods is just full of wildlife. It's insane. I couldn't be more happy. Um, 
actually shot at a second doe, as you guys saw, and she ducked and spun so fast that I completely missed her. Anyway, she, this doe was about 40 yards and she dropped also when I shot, but I aimed low because I thought she would drop and it hit her in the shoulder. And that thing blew clear through her shoulder blade that far and killed her. From 40 no yards. Way a rage would have done that. From 40 yards. From 40 yards. Man, I don't even. I don't even want to move. We're like clear up in the sanctuary. We got something crawling around it's over like, there. I don't know. You work so hard trying to get these deer. <sighs> now here's. Here's the deer, here's the thing you've been working for so hard. Laying in front of you. It's hard to explain.